I'm Tony. I'm Rachel. Back with some more Grim Dawn. As always, you want to see the other preview? Look in the description below. Let's actually start doing some stuff. Yeah, let's go. I got a bunch of cool story. Now it's time to uh, do something with that. So we got the Shattered Realms quest here. I don't think we should start on that just yet. I agree. I think we should start on the content. Yep. Oh, I found something. <laughs> you uh, you made everything explode. Look yes, what you've done. Did. Good. Um, is there a quest to turn in over here? Or is that... Where? Um, on top, there's the star. Is that a quest? Um, let's see. Nope, it's gray. Must be a turn in later. Yep. There's the portal. There's that. All right, you ready to head out in the desert sands? I think so. See what terrors await us here. Looks like there's going to be some uh, griffins. Yeah, that's cool. So far, the enemies I've seen from Crucible that are inside of this are definitely bigger and more impressive looking. From the Forgotten Gods content. That's good. Those are dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and we're fighting dinosaurs. Which is awesome. And then there were dinosaurs. <laughs> There's a frozen heart. I got a frozen heart. Yeah, well? I don't know how that works inside of a desert, but... Well, it was inside the thing until you just pulled it out, so maybe the inside of it was I really cool. I didn't pull cold. it out. Well, where do you think it came from, standing all the way over there. I shot it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. This is a secret. It looks totally like there was a tunnel right there. It did. Here you think. So, fire. are we done with the ethereals? So, uh, like, we're into dinosaurs now. Yeah. <laughs> or is this where the <laughs> beast... beyond ethereals into dinosaurs. Well, we know that there's a, a giant maw thing that's rising in the desert. Yeah, Cthulhu. Yeah, basically Cthulhu. So, Cthulhu is a greater threat than the ethereals, apparently, right now. It's an old one, I guess. Maybe not Cthulhu. I don't think they... Well, the ethereals and the gods, like, I guess this is Forgotten Gods, and the gods are supposedly at a higher state than the ethereals, because they're the ones that suppress the ethereals. Yeah. This is a higher... It's higher the... threat. Yeah, but I really don't think... <laughs> you just killed all those with uh, your yeah. war cry. Um, I really don't think that we, we finished solving the ethereal <laughs> Oh. No. Although we do have multiple ethereals that are now in charge, which is kind of cool. Yeah, Anastasia and... Uh, Karinia? Yeah. That lady you can never... <laughs> Kurig. <laughs> yeah, Kurig. Kurig, the, uh, <laughs> the coffee ethereal. She made me coffee one time. Kurig. Is this a... That looks suspicious to look at Arthur's a hero. That is a door. It looks well. It is a door, but it looks suspiciously like an, a secret area. No, it looks suspiciously like a door. Suspicious <laughs> doors. You figured it out. It's a door. <laughs> Sometimes you can get Rachel really lost around the house if you just close one of those things. Yeah, it's. She's like that. Looks suspiciously like a door. It's so rude that like they would do that door. to me. It's so rude, <laughs> and yet, I usually find my way out though, without. Too much hassle, usually. She usually needs food by the time she gets up, but she's all right. Yeah, I'm usually all right. I'm, f I'm usually fine. Okay, I think this is going to hook back around if we want go south right here. Do all the melties now. My war cry. That's awesome. Yeah, it does good with the uh, bound to... Um, Bull rush, bull charge, bull, bull rush. Uh, I think it's bull rush. With bull, whatever those. Yeah. With it bound to that, it does a good like trash clear capability. You hear that? You guys? You're you call calling them trash? Yeah. It's, it's awfully rude. You're, it's awfully rude. It's the way we reference you. You are trash to be cleared. <laughs> Back here. Back the other way. I'm just closing up the gap right here. Okay, I'm stuck right. on a rock. I think we have to go this way, because it looks like that north path. Is that actually blocked off over there? I don't know. I didn't get far enough down it. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, look at that water up there. That's oh, nice. that's cool. When's the last time we've seen a nice running water? 
When's the last time we saw dinosaurs? Well, yes, but the running water part should be more common than the dinosaurs. There's a rift gate right here. All right, one second. That. I'm kind of doing a straight line so I can... Okay. Why am I not doing that? There we go. Stuck on a bush. These bugs are nasty, though. Like, ugh. They're just beetles. Ugh. Ah, they're just beetles. Beetles aren't that bad. Incorrect. They're nasty. Like some of them are. Dung beetles definitely are. All beetles. Some of them are kind of cool, but not ones that. Do make. you think all of the beetles were nasty? I uh, I didn't care for the beetles. This is a secret area. Yes, it is. You want to read us some books? Hero. Hello, hero. There was a hero. Dropped blue. I believe. I don't like the beetles. I was never a big fan of the beetles. There's a whole beetle nest. Aw, oh, man. Just as I'm saying. That's where the beetles came from. <laughs> <laughs> from the beetle nest. I put a portal down on accident. An accidental portal? An accidental portal. It is. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yep. All right, do you want to go in the beetle hole? Well, one second. Let me get myself to not be running off on accident. Shield. I've gotten two shields so far. Oh, um, well. There's the first entry. There's the second entry. All right, beetle hole time. Uh, let's go. At least if we go in the beetle hole, we can take them out. Let's do that. Can you set them all on fire, please? I will. Please do. It's dangerous domain, by the way. Oh, okay. Danger. Danger, danger hole. Danger beetle hole. So, when I was growing up, my grandparents had a little farm. <laughs> Real curious where this is going. <laughs> I'm telling you a story about nasty beetles. <laughs> Why? One of the reasons I hate beetles. So, my grandparents had this small farm, and... In June, there would be the June bugs that would come out, right? The cicadas. And it would be so loud. And uh, they would leave their skins on the outsides of the trees all over the farm. And it was always gross. I don't Just think those are gross. beetles, one. You don't think that cicadas are beetles? I don't I don't know for sure, but I don't think cicadas are beetles. I'm, I'm not what positive you... on that. I'm totally capable of being wrong with that, but... Hmm, I'll have to look that up. But either way, so you're saying that my blame is misdirected. There's a boss. Yep. Killing the trash behind. There's the thing. He's got poison clouds. Yep. Don't stand in the poison clouds. And boss down. Yep. Anyways, I just remember the trees just with whole tons of cicada skins on the outside, so that's gross. Also, those aren't necessarily cicada, if I remember correctly, as well. Um, Does that change the fact that they're gross and nasty? They're not gross and nasty. The same thing like when a snake sheds its skin. It's just left oh, behind skin. See. There we go. You know, not everything needs to... You're, you're, you're being very humanist right now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have. Maybe I need to consider it from the... You the shed your skin all the time, too. Oh, sorry, bugs, for calling you gross. I need to work on my tolerance towards you. I would say something like a dung beetle is definitely gross. It, it rolls poop around all day long, so. Yeah. And from what I can tell from a, like, weird perspective on that one, too. Where it's like, do-do-do, roll my poop. <laughs> he's just doing what he's doing. It's, I Yes. It's, uh, it's what they do. Well, that is That is. They just roll their poop. Well, they're, it's just doing what it's doing. Couldn't that be said about yeah. literally anything? Yeah, it could. It could. Maybe you need to work on your poop rolling tolerance. I don't think I do, actually. <laughs> um, we could have just poured it out. I forgot I had my portal outside. That was fine. It was a short distance anyways. Where'd you come from? I came in this way and you weren't here. Welcoming part. Why are you glowing purple? Huh? Why is that a thing? Um... I don't know, it just wore off. It was a red symbol on me. I don't know what it was. Hmm. I've got five four five of these shields. <laughs> I have four of them. 
Wow. It looks like you get beetle shields. Yeah. But they do, they do have shields. All right, let's go to the thing. I got a burn damage uh, hands for a damage. caster. Okay, yeah. we're at the Corvin Plateau. Oh, what's this? Hi, guys. Look here, if it isn't one of Kaiman's zealots, I'm not here to fight you. There are greater threats about. Have you come to atone for your errors, or do you serve the Forgotten God as well? What do you mean? I think you know exactly what I mean. You chose to side with that sad bastard and his loyal band of fools back in Sorrow's Bastion. With your help, he nearly wiped out all of our men stationed there. And look where that's gotten us. Here we are chasing the old fool through this wasteland where he plans to resurrect an ancient god that's bent on vengeance. And it looks like he might just pull it off. So thanks for that. Ah, crap. I didn't want to side with him in the first place anyways. I know. And regrets. We have regrets. I didn't know. And also it's a game and I thought I was trying to play with the correct mechanics because it looked <laughs> like it was with my damage type. <laughs> of course not. It's not like we tried to warn you or anything. I suppose you're even convinced that he found a way to defeat the Chthonians. I think he may truly have believed that himself. The gullible will believe anything, particularly in desperate times like these. But that's all behind us. What matters now is that you're going to help us stop him. You are going to help us, aren't you? Yes, of course. I suppose that's good news. I've heard rumors of your deeds in Cairn. If any of them are true, it'll be nice to have you on our side now. Do me a favor, though. Stay away from me and my men. After what you did to our brothers in the Blood Grove, I'm sure they'll be on edge with you around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake. Yeah. Um, Like a pretty big one. I, uh... I mean, we need to see that from the other side. We need to. Yes, it'll be interesting. We have characters that should be going through that soon. I wonder how that works from a perspective of uh, what would they say to you here? You know, kind of thing. That'd be interesting. We will find out. Yeah, whether it does Death Vigil become the bad guy, or is yeah. it one of those things to where. Um, like at that point, they're like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? You're yeah. on our side. Besties. You ready to, you ready to uh, take out that Kaimon guy? And everybody would be like, yeah, Kaimon's going down. He is pretty weird. Well, he, he kind of sided with the other side to be able to, like, it's kind of the very Machiavellian do whatever it takes sort of perspective. Yeah. But. In still a very bad, selfish way. I don't, I don't even know if it would necessarily Machiavellian, because it was still very selfish, and Machiavellian is not, isn't necessarily about selfishness. It's about utility. Which is exactly what he was doing. No, because he still had a selfish perspective on it, about yeah. his own power and stuff like that, which was... Like, like very when you when, when people talk about Machiavellian, Machiavellian the um, his writings was talking about how to rule. It's not just that you're gonna do something evil, like and have an end that you're trying to achieve or something like that. It's like yeah. specifically about a lot of ruling and stuff like that. So it's called the Prince. Yes. Oh hey, purples. What? Vitality purples. Oh, well. I got you. I got you a purple dress. Yeah, my occultus. Mm-hmm. It'll look very pretty. So okay. I haven't decided whether I'm going to turn that into a um, a pet build though. I buying it's uh, still really early on for that one. My soldier, mage hunter. And um, Paladin are the three ones in their higher forties and stuff. I'm being oh oh I'm getting shocky. Yeah, there. Uh, hello. I'm being careful with those ones too because I'm trying not to necessarily catch up with uh, the other ones. That way we can go through the first time in the story on this one. A little bit jumpy going between little areas. I don't yeah. know if you've seen that too. Um, not really. Mine's pretty smooth. This area is interesting. Yeah. The 
like uh, Indiana Jones should be popping <laughs> out any moment. <laughs> exactly. Come here, guys. Endless stream of. What are these? They're undead. Skeleton. Endless stream of undeads and bugs. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of makes sense going together. Yeah. Undead and bugs. Oop, there's a thing where. It's down there on the bottom. Ah. Spot that down. That guy wants to check something, so it looks like there could be a secret there. Okay. Nope. Never mind. All right. That was good to check, because you never know what you're going to find. It's one of the things I love about this game. Yeah, it's... This one's very different than a lot of ARPGs in that... Can I go through this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can if you want to die. Uh, the, this one has more of the... Like, it's got this, like, combination of... Uh, it, the the word theme park still applies to this, but it does have very much more of an explan exploratory not explanatory <laughs> exploratory aspect to it. I think that's part of the fun. Can you get in there? No. It's like it looks like you can though. Yeah, we get to the from the other side. Nope. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go down this way. Yeah, I agree. That's that's the one of the things that set this one apart from other ARPGs for me. Is mm -hmm. the the world feels like a world. It doesn't feel like a series of like places. Yeah, exactly. Just, like randomly connected to each other. I like that there's continuity too. Like when the Grim Dawn happened, it affected everybody. And all their stories are congruent with that. It's not like, oh, in this zone, it didn't impact this group of people, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, one zone away. Yeah, or sometimes exactly. even in the same zone. Right, where it's like, oh, well, that just ruins continuity with the whole world because these What's people it? are just fine over here. Yeah. I need you to do a crust for me. Yeah. Wait, Go find isn't my the pigs. world, like, like, melting right now? Yeah, exactly. I need three books to be able to solve making this recipe to wait hold on i'm like sitting here trying to stop the world from melting and you you want me to go get you a book yeah book for what you is it the the secret book or the tome that's going to say no, no you just wanted to be able to make cookies this evening <laughs> quests quests and arpgs <laughs> well quests and mmos yeah too. quests and mmos oh good uh one second let me yeah we're good Guys, interesting. Yeah. All right, one moment, please. <laughs> I got you a nice belt to go with your new dress, to go with your shield. Awesome. <laughs> you want some electrocute damage? No. We got shaman I hands, uh... torrent storm surge, and brute force. I think those are all shaman. Brute force, I'm I don't not know sure. brute force, yeah. You think by this point we would know like all the names of all the abilities, but Well, I don't know Shaman. I don't have a Shaman yet. Alright, let's keep going. Uh well I'm gonna go over this way. Okay. I'll meet you up here. <laughs> we'll we'll meet in the middle. We did not actually finish that area behind this. I wonder if this circles back around. Okay. We'll see what happens, and if not, we'll backtrack and go back. That's weird. Your attack speed got like real quick there for a second. I wonder if I have a thing that does that. I need to relook at all my uh, abilities. Um, I've been playing your character, but I don't remember seeing anything or like even having that happen. Hmm. I put on. A, well, no, I don't know. I, I I have no explanations for it. I've been like totem farming on her character to catch her character up to mine on that night. Yeah. So I've been. And he organized my bank for me. That was so sweet. Yeah, it was a mess. I wanted to. It was a mess. I want to clean it's it up. A it's bit. still a mess, but he did a, he did a great job. That looks like. Well, no, it's not a mess anymore. It just needs clean. Like, now it's, it's just sorted. Yeah, it needs sorted. It's organized. Just a lot of things that need to be removed from that. What is that? That was weird. 
ground was doing something weird. Trimmers. Hey guys. Yeah, there's there's a spot back here we did not finish. Um, here, Let's you know what? Go back Portal. Yeah. Oh wait. Nope, those are our guys. Ah, it's stupid. We do want to go back to the Corvin Plateau. Yeah. I'm trying to, but the. <laughs> Let's see. The thing. It's right Let's here. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Unnecessary stairs. Hi. Grubs are definitely kind of in that that category of. I don't think I want to touch it. Sort of thing. <laughs> oh, those are the holes they're coming out of. Ah. Uh, those are spawn points. Nasty. And we should be good now. Can you throw down a portal? Sure. Portal. Non accidental portal. Yep. For like five foot. To... We could have. It's interesting. We have a few quests in here. We can find the missing people. I have the quest to make sure all of the things here are not here anymore. <laughs> all caught on fire? Yes. I want to I wanna catch the desert on fire. Okay, you do that. You're doing a great job catching the desert on fire. I want to make desert be all like... <laughs> <laughs> and Burning <laughs> sands. <laughs> Is that your fire noise? Is that what you were going for there? Yeah. Okay. I think I, I hypothetically understood what you were going for there. Yeah. <laughs> could have been could have been a few different things. I don't know how to make a fire noise, I guess. What's a fire noise sound like? I would think of it as more of a crackle, but I don't think we can make a good fire noise. Like, Well, that's like a campfire. I'm talking about like a, a oh. fire. Oh, oh, my bad. You a real said, I don't fire. Know a lot about fire. Not a not a fake campfire. That would that was just silly of me to conflate the two. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. I don't, I don't know why you're saying it like that, though. <laughs> that dude's trying to shoot fire at me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly fool. You know, shoot fire at the fire master. I keep going shocky sometimes. Something's putting shockies on me. Here, I'm going down here to get these. Okay. There's a quest right here. Okay. Let's head down that way. That's that's everywhere. Got a jawbone. This has all gotten way out of hand. Don't suppose you can help us get out of here? Um, it's under control? It's under control. Oh, thank the three. You got here just in time. Those things had us cornered. Listen, we're in no condition to continue, but we need to get out of here. You think you could help us? You must be low level. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Kaizen sent me. I know it's you because... Reasons. Yeah. I knew they wouldn't just leave us out here. We need to get back, but we can't just leave our supplies here. That would be frowned upon. If we come back without these supplies, we might as well slit our own throats. Wow. Um, I can open a rift gate and send you back with your supplies. Is that any safer given what roams the Eldritch Realm? You know what? It doesn't matter. Do whatever you need to do. Whatever it takes to get us out of here. Rift gate and boot. Poof. <laughs> you have been booped through the rift gate. 
No, boot, not boop. Booted through the rift gate. We seem to be in favor of kicking people through rift gates. Yeah. So whether they like it or not. Although we did not actually kick the guy through the rift gate that one time. We wanted to. We had the option to. <laughs> yeah, we, I guess we, we did restrain. We did. Because we are civilized people that do not kick people through rift gates. Well, we did the other <laughs> time, though. There we was did? another one of the time. Yeah, there was a time to where we did knock the person through the rift gate, so they didn't want to. Oh, yep. I think you're right. Chester here. Okay, this is going to a different area. I, I made all the things angry. I think they were already angry. You just made them come at us. Yeah. They should really seek therapy. Okay. Do we go back that way or no? Here. Go back um, which way? Down there? Yeah, take the portal over to the temple of Asir. Asir? Asir. Asir. Okay. So that's supposed to be like a play off Osiris? That's kind of how I read it as well. Which is pretty nifty. Yeah, here's a poi. Tomb entrance. Let's do it. Go tombing. Um, this is probably going to be... Actually, we should finish clearing out the top area yeah. and then pop into this here in a You're right few here. moments. I'll put my portal here. Okay. We'll pop back to it. Um... There's a spot up there. Whoop. I, I poured it back to your portal. Do you want me to come back? No, that's that's actually probably where we should go. But there's a little tiny spot that I don't know if there's a whole big thing that comes off of it or if that's just a dead end right there. Okay. We'll find out. See it at the top there? Yeah. How do we get there? Right across the bridge right here. And to the right, and oh no, need to go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Very that's windy. just a dead end. Yep. It is definitely one of those things in this though, to where it's like, oh, man, there's one little spot, and I have <laughs> to go look to see if something's actually there. All right, we can go across the bridge, but I think we should go do that temple now. So okay. Let's go ahead and port over to yours. And um, I think we can end this one here, and the next time we can pick up inside uh, the temple of whatever the place, temple of... The Os tomb. Oh, the, the, where we're at's temple. Is that the tomb? That is the tomb. Okay. Next time we'll pick up in the tomb of Osir. We'll see everybody then. Bye.